What's up guys? My name is Rune and I'm the founder of Sunnystone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a plugin called Roth Air. It's a really nice tool for adding air to your vocals, but you can use it for other things as well. And you can get it for free right here in Sunnystone. Let's have a look. I opened this track that I made with some uh, good friends in Nashville. Uh, we had an exclusive premiere on the front page of Billboard for this. Uh, and I played around with the Roth Air plugin on, uh, on the vocals here. It's important to understand that this is nothing like a regular EQ plugin. It's more like a mix between a multiband compressor with some added saturation. And it will split the signal uh, with the low frequencies that are left completely untouched and then the high frequencies that are affected by this plugin here. The interface itself is uh, really simple, like you can see here. But like I just explained, uh, there's a whole lot of things uh, going on under the hood. But uh, it's, it's fairly simple to use. Uh, we have the big air button in the middle, which is of course the main button where you add the air. On the left side, you have the threshold, which decides how much sound it needs before it starts kicking in. And the frequency will set the split point of the frequency where it starts to work, whether you want only it only to affect the very, very high airy frequencies, or maybe you want to add a little more uh, aggressiveness in the mid range. Uh, the gain button is where you can turn up and down the affected signal, meaning the high end. And the mix button is where you decide the mix between the clean signal and the processed signal. So uh, let me play a little bit of the song here for you. Um, I'll just add the whole mix here. All right, um, let's have a listen to the lead vocal in verse here. Uh, and I'll add plugin on and off here, and uh, then you can hear the difference uh, it makes here. So I'll start turning it off here. Stop, wait a minute. What you trying to say? No, I don't get it. You say we're yesterday. You had a dream, I wasn't in it. Where did I go? Uns so what you can hear is that it adds some of that airy presence, some of that crisp high end. Uh, and I feel like it, it's, it adds a very different flavor than a regular EQ, which makes it a very usable tool here. I can play around with the buttons while you listen and uh, then you can hear what the, the different buttons do to the sound. Stop, wait a minute. What you trying to say? No, I don't get it. You say we're yesterday. You had a dream, I wasn't in it. Where did I go? On second thought, when I think about it, I don't need to know. So, um, it's very easy to get seduced by this possibility to add that high crispiness. And um, I have to say, it's, it's super important to not overdo it. What I like to do is uh, turn up the mix button here find the frequencies that I like to add uh, that feels good to me and then I just add a little bit of that into the mix. So what I did in this song here is that I added a very high frequency uh, airiness to the lead vocal in the verse and then in the chorus vocal here I'll just open the other instance of Roth Air. You can see it's a much more mid-range that will make it cut through the mix more because there's a lot more going on there. So, on second thought, when I think about it, I don't need to know. So, I added a little more aggressiveness in the mid range in the chorus because uh, I have some lead doubles to add that more big sounding effect to it. And, um, I want the lead vocal to have some more character to, and to cut through the mix a little bit more. So um, that's basically what I did here. Overall, I feel like Roth Air is super versatile 
and very useful tool. It's very simple to use. And uh, it adds a flavor that's a little bit different from what you get from a re regular EQ. Roth Air is free and uh, you can get it right here on Sony Stowe.